Good morning, everyone. My name is Nicolas Sotias. I am a hardware design engineer and part of the R&D group of Ricardo Prague. Today, I will briefly present the library that Tim and I developed to enable rapid prototyping of electrified powertrains and eventually offer a platform for the realization of the powertrain's digital twin. So what is a digital twin? Simply put, it's a virtual model of a process, product or service. The recent focus on digital twins arises from its ability to reduce time, cost and risk during product development through concept validation, virtual calibration and virtual testing. During a product's lifetime, it allows for improved condition monitoring and system level control, while offering a platform to leverage in-field data, which enables perpetual improvement of the current and future products. A digital twin is comprised of a set of building blocks, which include Internet of Things digital twin, where smart sensors collect and upload data that provide a view of the state of the product, as well as offer data analytics. The CAD digital twin, which incorporates the actively maintained CAD representation of the physical product. The physical model digital twin, which incorporates the physics-based models of the product. This representation enables virtual testing, virtual sensing, diagnostics, prognostics, and it offers a platform for virtual calibration. The virtual environment digital twin, which is a representation of the physical environment of the application, allowing for realistic testing conditions of the product. And finally, the process digital twin, which offers a virtual representation of the production processes with the aim of improving the efficiency and operability. Digital twins are key building blocks in the virtual product development infinity loop. It coexists with a physical system through the entire life cycle, enabling system attribute optimization during development and real-time condition monitoring in service. In this paper, we focus on the physical model digital twin. In this slide, a visual representation of the coupling between the physical and virtual system is presented for any propulsion system. There is a perpetual interaction between the virtual and the physical world, where measured data from the physical system are provided to the virtual system, which in turn will accordingly update the control parameters of the physical system. The libraries developed and described in the submitted paper incorporate models capturing the behavior of battery, power electronics and electric machine systems, while an ancillary package was also generated to enable the seamless integration of the models from the aforementioned libraries. In this slide, the structure of the battery library is provided. The battery library is comprised of the low-level electrical components, the battery cell models, aging models, and eventually the higher-level battery pack models. The aim of the developed libraries is to offer maximum flexibility to the design engineer to utilize any available cell data as well as enable them to carry out simulations of different speed and fidelity level. For that reason, the cell model can be selected from the ideal, resistive and RC models, fully utilizing the replaceability of Modelica. Given available aging data for the selected cell, the cell models can be further enhanced by adding a calibrated aging model which estimates capacitive fade and DCIR increase, according to the equations presented here. Having now the full representation of the battery cell, a battery pack can be configured by specifying the number of cells in series and in parallel. The next library presented is the Power Electronics Library. The Power Electronics Library includes high and medium fidelity behavioral models of semiconductor components, such as IGBTs, MOSFETs and diodes, as well as models for capacitors, snubbers, and the corresponding thermal models of each component. Utilizing those low-level components, models of power electronic topologies such as DC-DC converters and inverters were developed. Even though models of semiconductor devices exist in the Modelica standard library, as well as other developed libraries, the aim of this library was to develop a set of models that capture the behavior of said devices, in a way that datasheet information are leveraged to parameterize the devices according to speed and fidelity requirements. Given that datasheet information availability varies, the models of the semiconductor devices were broken down to static and device loss models. Then by mix and matching models of each category, the engineer can put together a variant best suited for their application. The static models incorporate ideal models, 
constant models and lookup table based models, while the loss models incorporate lossless models, constant models, lookup table based models, and dynamic models. Given the number of the different variants for the static and loss models, the higher level semiconductor models will have a total variant number described in table number one. Having presented the principle behind the models developed, a use case is presented. The use case was focused on evaluating the performance of silicon IGBTs, silicon carbide MOSFETs, and gallium nitride MOSFETs in an onboard charger application. The topology selected was for simplicity hard switching DC DC full bridge converter with passive rectification. The components under investigation were used to put together the full bridge while the rest of the components were selected according to a set of requirements, such as output current regulation and output current ripple. By using a simple control algorithm, we were able to evaluate the charging current regulation, the output current ripple, and the effect on the losses of different switching frequencies for the technologies under investigation. The Electric Drive Unit Library, or EDU Library, is comprised of permanent magnet synchronous machines, reluctant synchronous machines, and low-level interface components. The permanent magnet and reluctant synchronous machine models were based on the Modelica standard library with some additional modifications to increase fidelity and enable an easy and automated parameterization process using MotorCAD data. The aforementioned motor models are parameterized through an automated Python process. Specifically, the toolchain which incorporates the presented libraries is coupled to the Ricardo eMotor database, also known as eMod. A Python script queries the database to evaluate a selection of candidate motor designs that fulfill a project-specific set of requirements, such as motor maximum power, DC voltage, maximum torque and speed. Consequently, the candidate motor CAD IDs are extracted and a design matrix is generated. The aforementioned motor CAD IDs are used to extract the relevant motor parameters used to parameterize the Modelica models. These parameters are saved in a TXT format, which is then imported using Modelica utility functions. Having parameterized the motor, we can couple with the battery and power electronics library as well as other vehicle libraries to assess the behavior of the motor and the overall system. Finally, to ensure seamless integration between the battery, power electronics and EDU libraries, a package was developed that incorporates all the interfaces necessary for the simulation of any propulsion system. Specifically, this package is comprised of blocks with a generic set of interfaces and generic battery inverter and e-motor modules as well as different propulsion system architectures. As mentioned in the beginning of the presentation, the aim of the library is to offer a platform on which engineers can build the product's digital twin. To showcase this capability, we will present a use case where we use the developed libraries to accelerate the design stage and assess the propulsion system of a long-haul truck. This model will further be enhanced when the vehicle is built and will be used to enable reduced order monitoring, diagnostics, and more. The key vehicle parameters and performance attributes for the vehicle in question are presented in tables two and three. For this study, the electrified powertrain was modeled using the developed libraries. The vehicle dynamics were captured using Ignite, which is a Modelica-based simulation environment with extensive vehicle libraries and the controls were implemented in Simulink and imported into the Ignite environment. In this slide, a visual representation of the main building blocks of the long-haul truck is presented. As already mentioned, Simulink is used for the implementation of the controls, Ignite is used to capture the vehicle dynamics, and the libraries presented in this paper were used to model the electrified powertrain. After setting up the co-simulation system model and selecting a relevant drive cycle, we were able to carry out vehicle level simulations. From the results of these simulations, we are able to evaluate quantities such as vehicle actual speed, which we can see closely follows the drive cycle speed demand. 
we can extract curves such as state of charge drop for this drive cycle, terminal voltage, and power delivered and regenerated to evaluate the battery performance. We can extract inverter performance curves such as inverter losses and output phase currents. We can evaluate the overall losses of the electric motor as well as get a comparison between its loss component. And finally, we can extract electric motor mechanical performance curves such as speed and torque. Further extending the presented study and taking into account that optimizing journey time and cost is the most important criteria for road freight vehicles. A study was carried out to assess the impact of the powertrain design and configuration on the total cost of ownership, using the outputs from the use case presented in the previous slides. To carry out the study, the assumptions presented on Table 4 were made. A field of interest for the study was the minimization of the total cost of ownership for the battery pack, with the results shown in the TCO variation with the pack energy figure. In this figure, we can clearly see a minimum for a pack energy of around 730 kWh. Another field of interest is the comparison between different powertrain technologies, with the results presented in the figure on the bottom right. Using the diesel internal combustion engine as a baseline, we can compare the total cost of ownership of battery electric vehicles and catenary electric vehicles. To summarize, we have defined a set of requirements for each of the key digital twin components in an electrified powertrain. We have developed a Modelica package, which enables rapid construction of digital twins for electric drive units, power electronics, and batteries in electrified powertrains. These models can be used within a range of electrified architectures and simulated in and alongside existing software, as well as seamlessly utilize data from coupled databases. This modeling approach is scalable and the toolchain can provide both fast running low fidelity simulations as well as more detailed high fidelity simulations required for more detailed subsystem analysis. These developed packages have been demonstrated in a heavy duty use case. I would like to thank you for your attention. Feel free to ask any questions. We will do our best to respond in the remaining time.